yes and no, optimism and pessimism, happiness and disappointment. These contrasting words might best sum up the 1972 University of Virginia football season. A season with a four and seven record, a season that started and ended with victories, but other things happened in between. Heartbreaking defeats, good halves versus bad halves, position changes to find the right combination, some working, some not. Now, Virginia football, 1972. The Cavaliers opened the season at williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia facing the South Carolina Gamecocks. A decided underdog to the Gamecocks, Virginia's inspired defense set the tone for an upset win. Sophomore lineman Dick Ambrose blocks this Gamecock punt, and co-captain Billy Williams sees a defensive lineman's dream come true, a touchdown. The extra point erased an early 3-0 South Carolina lead and put Virginia ahead 7-3. Ex-Virginia quarterback Billy Troop must have thought he was still playing with the Cavaliers, as close as his ex-teammates were to him this night. Dan Blakely made this play. Here's Billy Williams getting in on the Cavaliers' defensive act again. Another defense caused turnover, and the Cavaliers are on their way to another school. This Carolina fumble is picked up by Chris Brown, and the Cavaliers are in excellent position to add to their lead. Sophomore quarterback Harrison Davis leads Virginia's attack, and the 1972 leading rusher, Kent Merritt, rips off a 15-yarder. Here's one of eight passes all ACC performer Dave Sullivan handled in the game. A perfect strike from Davis for the touchdown. Sullivan caught eight for 75 yards in this game. He ended up leading the ACC in receptions, and was drafted by the Cleveland Browns in the pro draft. A later Billy Maxwell field goal gives Virginia a 17-10 lead going into the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter action, and Davis cranks up for this aerial toss to Billy Lanahan. It's a 40-yard play, and the Cavaliers smell pay dirt once again. Billy is one of nine offensive starters returning for Don Lawrence in 73. Here's Davis's second touchdown pass to Sullivan, to give Virginia a fourth quarter lead of 24 to 10. But defense really played an important part in this win and Billy Troop wishes he had never met up with Virginia's Kevin Michaels taking this interception. And then there was the great defensive play of the sophomore Ambrose. In this series of sacks on Troop, Ambrose was like a mad dog for the pigskin. After the game, he was nominated for a National Lineman of the Week. He had 12 solo tackles, deflected three passes, and had seven tackles behind the line of scrimmage. This 73 season, Ambrose will be switched to linebacker. The Virginia defense sacked the South Carolina quarterback 14 times in all, and a last second score made it 24-16. After the great opening win, the Cavaliers opened the home season against traditional rival Virginia Tech. Over 31,000 came to Scott Stadium. Tech started strong, but the Cavaliers rallied from a 14-0 deficit. Davis's right arm was really hot in the second quarter. This one good to Bill Lanahan. Here, Davis finds sticky-fingered Dave Sullivan, and the Cavaliers are on the move. Now, Chuck Bellick is the open target, and it won't be long before the Cavs are on the board. It's Bellick again, and the Harrison-Bellick combination produces a score. Bellick finished second to Dave Sullivan in pass receptions in the ACC. Trailing 14-7 in the second half, Craig Critchley makes this heads-up defensive play, and the game begins to change its complexion. Strock takes a sack on Stanley Land's play, a returning defensive end. He makes the hit. A late third quarter field goal closes the gap to 14-10 and Virginia wants a victory for the home crowd. Merritt for 13. John Rainey, the Taswell Flash, finds running room for eight more. and You can just feel the excitement. Davis to Bellick for the go-ahead score. The very same touchdown pass as before. 
Still a lot of time left, 9.46 to be exact. And it looks like a break will decide the outcome. And Virginia gets it. A struck fumble, and Chris Brown makes the biggest recovery of his life. Less than three minutes to go. And the opportunity is there for a score that would put the game on ice. Kent Merritt provides the heroics, and Scott Stadium is ready to raise right off the ground. A late VPI score made it 24-20 in the final, and there was plenty of happy folks in Scott Stadium that afternoon. The Cavaliers play the second straight home game, and the opponent is tough independent West Virginia. After the two wins over South Carolina and VPI, the Cavaliers' performance dropped off, and they absorbed a 48 to 10 defeat. A little trickery caught the Mountaineers sleeping, and this Davis to Merritt to Sullivan halfback option play takes the ball deep into West Virginia territory. But the best the Cavaliers could do is three points on this Billy Maxwell field goal, and it's a 3-0 Virginia lead. West Virginia quarterback Bernie Gallipa had one of those days quarterbacks dream about. 13 of 19 in passing, 298 yards and five TD passes. This 78-yarder was good to Danny Briggs. George Allen Jr. takes over at quarterback when Davis was asked to leave in a personal foul call. This strike is to Chuck Bellin. Sullivan displays his running ability on this reverse. Good blocking sets up a 26-yard gainer. No rest for the weary as Sullivan takes this pass from Allen and the Cavaliers are knocking on the door for their first TD of the day. Merritt finds running room to the 16 as the strong Virginia drive continues. This looks like a TD for sure, but Mike Lassica comes up short. That looks like it had hurt, but Mike got up all right. Here's the TD on the Allen sneak, but it was a long Saturday afternoon for the Cavaliers. Duke is next, and the Cavaliers are hoping for a good start in ACC play. This was one of those when it rains, it pours days. Nothing went right. Davis fumbles to help set up an early Duke score. A bad snap from center brings the Blue Devils another two points. Oh, me, oh, my. Duke's All-American Steve Jones, the ACC's MVP, takes off in this 33-yard scamper. Jones rushed for 175 yards in the first half, and Duke had an unsurmountable 30 to nothing lead. Whereas Virginia couldn't do anything in the first half, the Cavaliers got it going in the second half. Merritt streaks for nine. Davis finds Lassica in the open, and this one accounts for 17 yards. Mike McGugan is in the clear, and the Cavaliers are within striking distance at the 30-yard line. Merritt had a good day, 15 carries and 83 yards, including this 11-yard scamper. Davis gets a TD on this sneak, but it's not near enough as the Cavaliers go down 37-13 in their ACC lid lifter. A night game in Nashville. Vanderbilt is the opponent, and the Commodores get a quick 7-0 lead. George Allen Jr. filling in for the injured Harrison Davis connects to Mike McGugan for an 18-yarder. Allen really pumping up on this second quarter scoring jive, and he's a perfect hit to Dave Sullivan. Allen again, and Sullivan is there for the TD. This was Virginia's only score of the game. The TD tied the game at 7-7, and that was the intermission score. Even though only three points were scored in the second half, 
There was a lot of exciting football left in the game. Virginia down 10-7, and Merritt starts the Cavaliers in a drive with a 10-yarder. Allen keeps it going with another 10-yard gainer to Chuck Bellick. Merritt for 14 more. And an injury on this play forces him to the sidelines. Merritt gained 115 yards for his first 100-yard-plus game in 72. With Merritt out, Allen tries a quarterback sneak on fourth and inches. The official says he didn't make it, and the drive is stopped. Sullivan had a good night in the heartbreaking loss. He caught six passes for 90 yards. The final is 10-7 Vandy, and the Cavaliers drop to a two-win, three-loss record for the year. Back on the home turf, the Cavaliers hope to get it going against the VMI Cadets. It's Band Day and Commonwealth Day, and the Cavaliers didn't disappoint any of their fans with the end results. With both Merritt and Davis out, Allen gets the quarterback nod from Coach Lawrence. He's right on target to Dave Sullivan in the first quarter. Looks like George is going to take them all the way. Here's another successful Allen to Sullivan pass play. Put Virginia ahead 7-0 on this TD pass from Allen to Mike Lassica. Three forty-one left in the first quarter, and Allen takes a rest in the second quarter, and freshman Scott Gardner makes his college debut, and what a debut it is. He'll get his passing arm warmed up in just a minute. Here's a nice little 16-yard scamper. Now the passing game by the newcomer. A perfect strike to Chuck Bellick, and the 21-yard gainer sets up the Virginia go-ahead TD. John Rainey puts the points on the board, and the Cavaliers lead 14 to seven, a lead they never relinquish. This is action just before the half. And Gerard Mullins sets up another score with this scintillating 29-yard punt return. Gardner is ready now. He feels the pulse of the game. And he hits Dave Sullivan for another Sully pass reception TD. Sullivan had seven pass receptions for 133 yards. And the route is on. Mullins, a preseason All-ACC pick, but denied that postseason honor because of injuries, does it again. This time, 52 yards, and it won't be long before Virginia scores again. Gardner caps off a pretty good day with a nine-yard TD scamper. He had 61 yards rushing, two TDs, 10 for 19, good for 186 yards passing. Three TD passes and a total offense of 247 yards. It was the second best day by any freshman in the country. The first half of the Clemson game was a nightmare. It was Clemson 24, Virginia nothing at the intermission. The Cavaliers didn't quit and made a game out of it in the second half. Merritt back in action, rips off 22 yards and looks as sound as ever. Gardner was forced to the sidelines in that jittery first half, and Allen took over the reins. He gets to the Clemson 13 on this run. Then Allen strikes to Sullivan, and the Cavaliers are on the board trailing 24 to seven. But Clemson knows they came to play in the second half. The Cavaliers got it right back, and Allen is at work again. Here's a 12-yarder to Bailey. Merritt picks up eight, and Virginia is inside the Clemson 40.
Watch this run by Merritt. Kent rushed for 103 yards and 13 carries, one of his better rushing days. Allen sneaks for the TD, and all of a sudden, Virginia is back in the game. There's 6.03 left in the third quarter. Clemson gets a field goal to stretch their lead to 27-14. Merritt sets up good field position with this long kickoff return. The speedster from Charlottesville is off and running again, but he coughs up the ball after a 32-yard scamper, and the turnover stops the drive. Both clubs scored again. Final Clemson 37, Virginia 21, and the Cavaliers were still looking for their first ACC win. After being on the short end of the score at halftime, the Cavaliers reversed form and stormed out to a 23 intermission margin against Maryland. But they couldn't hold it and lost a heartbreaker to the Terps on homecoming at Scott Stadium. Scoring started with this Billy Maxwell field goal and it gave Virginia a 3-0 lead. Remember when Billy Williams scored against South Carolina and when he picked up that black punt? Watch him this time. Pick off this errant Maryland pass and waltz in for his second score of the year. No truth to the rumor Billy wanted to switch to offense after his second TD. Now it's 10-0. Both clubs find the mark with field goals and it's 13-10. Steve Scroba sets up the Cavaliers' final first-half score with the return of a Maryland punt to the Terps' four-yard line. It's a 75-yard scamper for the 5'10", 185-pound returning senior. <laughs> Allen caps the drive with, sad to say, Virginia's final TD of the day. A little four-yard toss to Dave Sullivan. Maryland intercepted five passes in the second half for the 24-23 comeback win. Still seeking victory number one in the ACC, the Cavaliers play their final Scott Stadium date in 72 against North Carolina State. The Wolfpack needs a win to keep their bowl game chances alive. State takes a first quarter 7-0 lead. But the Cavaliers begin to rally behind freshman quarterback Gardner. This one to Bellick is a beauty. Gardner to Sullivan for 11 more, and Virginia is headed for a score. Again, Bellick, and Gardner is working his way downfield in a tie game. Ken Shelton is on the receiving end of this Gardner flick of the wrist, and all of a sudden it's 7-7 late in the second quarter. State added a late second quarter touchdown for a 14-7 halftime lead, and the Wolfpack broke the game wide open in the second half. Here's a funny twist. Harrison Davis catches one. With his sore thumb still preventing him from throwing properly, he switches to receiver and does a pretty good job here. Bellick does some fancy running for a 17-yard gain on this inside reverse. Gardner hits Shelton for 16 yards. The Cavaliers are on their way to the second score of the game. Gardner caps an 80-yard drive with this aerial strike to Chuck Bellick. Gardner had another good day with 15 completions and 102 yards. Coach Lawrence is still undecided about his quarterback for 73. It could be Davis or Gardner or Allen. On to Chapel Hill in a battle with once beaten North Carolina. Tar Heels lost to Big Ten power Ohio State and that's all. The Heels grab a quick 7-0 lead. But John Rainey leads a quick Virginia comeback with a 41-yard kickoff return. Gardner is at quarterback, and he sees Sullivan nine yards away. 
This time, Gardner spots Sully in the open for a 14-yard gainer. And the Cavaliers are getting close to a score. The tough Tar Heel defense holds, and Billy Maxwell comes on for a field goal. Down 16 to 3, the Cavaliers still refuse to yield to the tough Tar Heels. Gardner gets 15. Gardner gets the ball real close on this pass to Ken Shelton. It's a 33-yard gain, and the ball ends up on the Tar Heel 10. But a holding penalty stalls the drive. North Carolina strikes on this long touchdown pass, and it ends up a 23-3 North Carolina win. Gardner went all the way at quarterback and was beat up by the tough Tar Heels. He just missed on four passes to Sullivan, and he still passed for 189 yards. Cavaliers bowed out a winner, taking their first ACC win of the year at Winston-Salem against Wake Forest. Down 6-0, Mike Kornashian comes up with a big defensive play. Wake fumbles on the next play, and Kevin Michaels is Johnny on the spot with a recovery at the Wake 30. Davis, playing at quarterback for the first time since the Duke game, starts a touchdown drive with his eight-yard run. Mike Lassica follows with a run up the middle for seven more. John Rainey keeps the drive going as the Cavalier runners average over six yards a crack. Davis mixes it up at the right time with his TD strike to Lassica to give Virginia the lead at seven to six. Wake grabs the lead back at 12-7. Davis eyes Bellick for 22 yards in the last play of the third quarter. Now in the final quarter, the Davis-Bellick combination strikes again for a go-ahead TD. Leading 13 to 12, Virginia decides to go for two. And Davis looks for Virginia's most consistent pass catcher all season long, Dave Sullivan. In a deep crowd, Sully comes up with a perfect catch, and the Cavaliers up their lead to three, 15 to 12, and that's the final. So it ended four and seven, and now it's on to 1973. Another tough schedule, including Missouri, the Big Eight, and VPI, and West Virginia, and the usual run of ACC opponents. The time is now in 1973 for Virginia football.